what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Brand new footage of a man putting hands on the police. He had four cops standing around and he put hands on one of them. It was boxing. Cop came out there blazing like he was gonna do something, really do something, and he caught a fade real quick and then the dude did an MMA move on him and slammed him to the ground. Man, check it out. What 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 fool? What what uh, uh, look, uh, uh, what boo boo then get your ass on the ground. And hey, look, all the other cops come rushing over, not one of them even momentarily just touched their gun. They didn't reach for a taser, a billy club, or nothing. They was just watching. They had no intention on saving their lives, like being so afraid that they have to pull out a gun to save their lives because they were in fear. They feared for their lives. Didn't look like they feared for their lives at all. But it's just amazing how so many black people get killed for way less than that. I mean, way less than that. So many black people have been killed for not even raising a finger to the police. Gunning them down, left and right. Gunning them down. So, I really do need my non-black people to chime in on this, especially my white people. I know y'all watching the video. I know you see me. Don't just comment, creep and crawl. Don't avoid this. Step on in and give your honest to goodness comment. What do you think would have happened had that been a black man? Or even an identifiable Mexican. Like if they looked at him, they could tell you, yeah, that's a Mexican. Okay. What do you think would have happened? I think we all know the answer to that question. It is truly amazing how cops can use restraint when they want to. Yeah, they got into a little scuffle. Maybe the cop got slammed, he got the hands put on him a little bit, but he gonna go to the hospital, get a little Band-Aid, he got a little bruising. He go home, the other dude sit in jail, but eventually he go home to his family. Everybody live. Ain't no funerals. Ain't no crime. Ain't no displaced families, broken homes, children growing up without their fathers. None of that. They know how to make it work when they want to make it work. I keep telling y'all, the police are not in fear. Now, you saw what dude was doing. He was dancing on their asses. He looked way more dangerous than Philando Castile did, Michael Brown did. He looked way more dangerous than Alton Sterling did. Man, you know, the list goes on and on and on and on. And on. There's so many people. So many people did so, so much less. So much less who are not here. So y'all know what it is, man. Let's stop faking. You know what it is. Everybody know what it is. Stop the faking, man. I'm sure the police department will probably even compensate the family. Dude probably sue, he probably end up suing the police department 
and winning a judgment. I can't stand the bias, man. Even though I can't stand it, I did like looking at it. I did like watching him put the hands on that cop. Because he ain't had nothing. He came out there. Did the puffy combs on his ass. Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> it was beautiful to watch. Beautiful. Hey, if anybody out there knows dudes, uh, GoFundMe address, let me know so that I can send him some money. And if he's in jail and you have an address on him, let me know. I want to put something on his books. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?